There are different types of acne scars. You know, often people talk about, oh, I've got acne scar, but you're actually talking about you know, the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. In one way, they are scars, but they are more marks. Scars usually, from our point of view, are holes, and holes that come about from your years of scratching and picking those uh, little pimple points when you're young, and now you're regretting it many years later. So there are a few of these things that we deal with quite often. The ice pick scars, box scar scars, as well as rolling scars. Ice pick scars are really those very small little holes that are deep reaching. The box scar ones tend to be like a square, punched out area. You can get a shallow defect or sometimes a big crater. Some people call them craters. And rolling scars, as it's described, rolling it's just like a rolling hills due to various amounts of uh, scarring below that pulls some of these areas down so you get like sand dunes in the desert. How do we treat these scars? Treatment generally is about really trying to resurface, trying to put some energy in the deep areas to break down the scars. Often we can use some form of chemical peel, but the chemical peels really operate at a very superficial level to give you a bit of skin renewal. One of the things that we really like to do is to use a radio frequency device with variable amount of uh, microneedling to penetrate deep. So the microneedling can give you that fractionated approach and uh, depending on the depth of the microneedle, we can go fairly deep, even up to about three millimeters deep. And with a selected radio frequency, it gives you the energy to try and break down the scars that's deep. Another popular way of treating scars would be to use a fractional laser. The theory really is to create little holes, but to create the holes apart so that you've got islands of normal tissue that can provide the cells to heal these little holes. And as it gives you that trauma, it also provides space for healing. More superficially, the texture can improve, the cell turnover increases and you get a smoother surface. There are other modalities that can be used to address what is deep as well. 